Well, first the moon, then to Mars. Scientists have big plans for space exploration the next few years, and a lot of the prep work happens right here in Texas. Take a look at the Mars habitat in the Johnson Space Center in Houston. That is actually really, really nice. It is a 3D printed habitat with four bedrooms, bathrooms, a workout room, a medical room, and so much more. It's all designed to simulate what real life would look like on Mars. A four person crew will live in the area for a year, practicing the research and growing tasks. Humans will actually be sent to the Mars, to Mars that is, to carry out in 2030. So they will, during some periods, have the opportunity to grow some crops and they will be able to consume those crops. So it would be like salad type of crops. So pick and eat, um, leafy greens, tomatoes, things like that. The four volunteers will be paid for 12 months. NASA monitors everything from their physical and mental well-being to the actual crop data. Wow, Could you do that? I don't know. It's 1139 on the clock, by the way. I will say every time I hear about science and I'm, I'm talking to you at the desk, I'm like, I feel like you're just in heaven right now, like <laughs> listening to all this like sciencey stuff. But I don't know if I could do that. Mm -hmm. um, 12 months, it's a if long they time. pay me enough money. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd be curious to see what that and amount we're doing looks something like. For the uh, greater good, right? <laughs> yes.